the backward and forward shading. So this topic is totally based on a word that is a reasoning word. And what is the reasoning? I got the input from the student. So based on their inputs, I can write in simplification form. The reasoning means the ability to apply logic to make a decision. So I'm following the reasoning. So what I'm doing, I'm applying the logic to make the decision. And from this point, we have this topic that is a forward and backward chaining. So forward and backward chaining are the methods of reasoning that exist in the expert system domain of the artificial intelligence. So what is expert system? Expert system is what? That is an application of the artificial intelligence where we can apply the artificial intelligence based concept. These techniques are used in the expert system and uh, I'm speaking the name of the two expert systems. One is Mycin and another one is Adventure. These are the two expert systems which are used into the medical science to generate the solution to the real life problem. So uh, here I'm speaking about the, what is mean by the expert system. That is the term we have to keep in mind. So what I already spoken over here, just uh, let me explain once again over here to all the people, those who are not getting it. What I'm speaking, the backward and forward, these are the forward uh, chaining are the methods. Actually, this is the methods that is methods used for reasoning, used for reasoning in expert system in expert system so this is the point so what we can say the big one forward changing methods used for reasoning in expert system so now we have a big question right now what is an expert system uh, if you have studied the uh, fundamental or yeah, something like this kind of paper. So anyone who have any idea about what you mean by the expert system? Anyone? Then I can explain. What do you mean by the expert system? Yes, tell me. What do you mean by the expert system? Uh, okay. Okay, good. No, no problem. Okay, I can explain in simply way. See, an expert system is basically nothing which is a computer application program. So I can write here a computer application program. No? A computer application or we can say the computer program or program program that uses some rules and approaches and facts to provide the complex that is used to I can write over here that is used to uh, provide the solution of solution of complex problem complex problem uh, using rules, facts, and approaches. Okay, so these are the three terms we have to keep in mind. So ultimate, this is what this is an express term. This is what this is a definition. This is the known as the definition of N. ES, I'm writing shortened way of the expert system, that is ES. So the definition of ES. The example we can take, and the example of an expert system we can take in the medical science we will use. First one is mycin. Next one is dent. So these are the two more important real life or expert system which are used to diagnose the some problem in the medical science so we have these two expositions which are the most useful so first one is mycin and second one is dental mycin is most popular this is the most popular most popular expert system 
Now, the introductory part of the basic idea is clear. What is an express system? So, express system, uh, Mycin and Randall, I'm taking. So, Mycin basically uses the backward chaining technique to diagnose the bacterial infection. And Dendron employs forward chaining to establish the structure of the candida. Now, this is the point. It is clear to all right now. Mycin is basically used for the backward chaining technique to diagnose the bacterial infection. And Dendron implies forward chaining to establish the structure of the chemical. So from this point, we have a question. What is mean by the backward chaining and forward chaining? This is the reason we have to study this topic or our class that is the forward and backward chaining. So before understanding this topic, let us understand from where this term is coming, where it is required. So this is the place in the expert system. This topic is required. Now it is now it is clear to all right now. For your betterment, you yes. can. Okay. So because the root should be clear to all the people where this topic is coming to the our learning part. So for your information purpose, I can write mycin use the backward chaining. Okay, backward chain. And what is the backward chaining and forward chaining? I will tell you step by step. And dental use the forward chaining. Forward chaining. So at the time of the interview or the why, why, if someone asks you the question, why this uh, method is required? So you will say, sir, the expert system, but why it is required? Because expert system we are designing, so what is the chaining method we are taking to sort out our problem? And then we will see the backward and forward chaining detail. But before that, this topic should be clear why we are understanding this topic and where it is required. And as I told you, in the backward and forward chaining support the reasoning this is required and what is the reasoning i've already explained in my first slide that is used into the apply the logic to make the decision so expert system will take the decision based on the reasoning reasoning means what is the logic which is used by the our expert system so everything is just synchronized form we have so we have to keep in mind all the points step by step after this point i would like to share a simple diagram and then you have to look this one. Are you able to see this uh, image on the screen which is shared by me over here? It is visible to us. Sir, it's visible. Okay, so can anyone tell me right now what this image is telling to us? Can anyone tell me? Sir, there is, is a sir, there is oh. application which is uh, designed by the experts in that field and the experts who design the app, and there are the users who are using that application for their needs. Okay, super, super. Okay, I'm just uh, written the expert system over here. So, uh, good. So, as a uh, human, uh, I'm the expert. So, you can see this is a doctor. This is a doctor. So, Human is expert in his or her field, that is a medicine science, medical science, we can say. So, this doctor. Doctor in his specialist in his area, just could be any kind of the medical science. Area. And then, knowledge engineering will be applicable there. And this box, uh, which is composed by the three components, what is knowledge base, inference engine, and user interface. And this box is composed by the our expert system now suppose you have any problem in real life so you will ask the, some expert opinion why because you will get the better solution so as a human expert i have the uh, uh, some idea so human expert as a being doctor and knowledge engineer will make an expert system to provide the better solution and user will not be expert so as a being a user i will use the expert system to sort out the, my problem i'm taking the real life example if you remember uh, this is the example i have seen so uh, from the my friends in court so who are in the industry so they gave me idea you have heard this from netman have you heard this very very advertising uh, most of the advertising we are getting netman yes sir so what is the purpose of this uh, website or this application can anyone tell me right now? 
delivering medicines delivery medicine so uh, you are just putting the delivery medicine details or what is the thing you are putting have you anyone who used so there are, there is also available about information about the medicine is what what purpose it is used all those yeah that that, that is the point that is the point. i'm writing all the points what is the purpose so you are putting the purpose in the information field so the knowledge or the expert system will acquire the information so knowledge base and the information engine will acquire the data so i'm writing here acquire the data acquire the data from the user and user put the all the data and after putting the data expert system will generate so net will just like an expert system i'm not saying this is a perfect expert system but it seems to us it is just like an expert system i'm putting the my all the data okay my i'm just suffering from the curve and cold so this is my purpose so i will get the some uh, recommended medicine so based on the my budget or based on the my quantity i will put i will order the medicine and i will get the medicine and that is the reason so expert system will, will work like this way so if i'm designing an expert system so there will be three component that is a knowledge base inference engine and user interface so with the team of the two persons, we can say like the over here in the image, we can say not an engineer and an expert that could be doctor will make an expert system and a user will not know to about this one. So being a patient, I'm visiting a clinic and I'm just visiting hospital, I'm meeting with the doctor. So doctor will suggest the medicine. So if I'm not able to visit the doctor due to some uh, uh, long route or due to some uh, busyness or maybe due to some unavailability of the, my resources that what I can do, I can call the doctor or I can use an expert system so I can get a better solution from the, my expert system. That expert system, nothing which is a computer program, as I told you. So computer is pro a computer program with the help of the computer application. I will get the suggested medicines. And that is the reason the expert system is important. So what are the role of the these three components? I can speak here one by one. Three components we have in expert system. First one is user interface, inference engine, and knowledge base. The user interface enables users to system to interact with the expert system. So as a, being a uh, user, I don't know uh, how database is stored into the expert system and what is the, the data set, what are the data base they are using, I don't know. As a, being a user, I'm just putting a details only. This is the problem I'm suffering from this kind of decision. Okay. So I will interact with the my system with help of the one component that is a user interface and high quality and a domain specific knowledge to into the knowledge base. So knowledge base is just trying to just keep the data, all the data. And inference engine is what the inference engine will be the intermediate part between the knowledge base and user interface to provide the better result. So this is basically known as the processing part of processing unit from which we can process the our result or we can get the or our query will be executed and now we can get the better result. And these are the three important components we have to keep in mind. Now, this diagram is clear or should I explain this diagram once again? Anyone who have any doubt? In this diagram knowledge base i can write over here uh, knowledge base means store the store the information information inference engine just uh, uh, the purpose of this engine to generate the result based on user's query. Okay, and user interface will interact with them. So this is the purpose of this one, to interact with the user. So this user, what will the purpose of this user? The user will interact with the user interface and inference engine will get the request or so in terms of the query. And after executing this query from the knowledge base or knowledge or database, the information will be gone, and then we can get the everything. So this is the three important component we have to keep in mind.
So what are the more important part? Inference engine and knowledge base, where we can acquire the data to the uh, from the sector system to the customer. And this is the example. Actually, this is the only sort of example we can say next bit. But we need to understand what is the purpose. So after getting putting the purpose, and uh, we some medicines are recommended. Okay, and we choose a recommended medicine, and medication will be delivered. This kind of the approaches we have seen in the net. And it's improved, it is just like an expert system. But we can't say NetMed is an expert system, but we're trying to understand. The expert system will work like this way. So this is the approaches we have to keep in mind. From this point, we will follow the backward and forward approaches. But before that, let us understand the expert system and what is an expert system. So for what we have covered, we have seen the two things. What are those things? What is mean by the reasoning and uh, what is mean by the uh, backward and forward chaining where we can apply and what is the meaning of the expert system and what are the components of the expert system and then we will see what are the importance of these three components and then we will see the our backward and forward chaining concept. So before starting this point, let me know right now the basic idea is clear to all the people then i can speak the some statement about the backward and forward chain so backward and forward chaining system from the inference engine component and this is a component in which logical rules are applied to the knowledge base to get the new information so if you need to acquire the information so where you can acquire and how we can acquire so two questions so where and how so from the knowledge base we can acquire, but how we can apply? By applying some logical rules to make a decision. And the backward and forward chaining technique are used by the inference engine as a strategy for proposing solution or deducing the information in the expert system. So this is the reason. So if I'm applying the expert system in my real life scenario, then what kind of the approach I'm using? So the main component inference engine will use two approaches. One is the backward and forward. And the purpose of the backward and forward chain is to generate a proper result to get the data from the knowledge base or to get the result from the knowledge base by applying the logical tools and to make a better decision. So if I'm getting the better medicine from the system, so how I'm getting it? Because expert system will providing the better solution based on the my symptoms and the symptoms I have paid into the my system. So as being a user, I'm putting the some symptoms and expert system just providing the better solution. Okay, I'm suffering this kind of disease, so I need I need to follow this kind of the precaution like this. And this is what this is an expert system. So this is the idea about expert system before jumping to the forward and backward chain. Uh, concept is clear. Yes, tell me right now. The basic idea is clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, good. So now uh, it's time to discuss the forward chaining first. Uh, can anyone tell me right now what is mean by the forward chaining if you have studied? You have, or you have any idea? Okay. I'm sharing the screen. Okay. Look at this image and tell me after reading some statement from the screen and tell me what is the forward chaining? Everything is written on the screen, but try to understand what is the meaning of this forward chaining. Then we will see that example. Oh, sir. Yes. I think sir, as the name suggests, it's operating, it operates in forward direction. Yes, this is the point. This is a good point because everything is written into the its uh, statement or uh, uh, words. We can do the forward chaining. So we have a chaining and we have to look into the forward direction. This is the good point. So just read this point and think and tell me what would sir, be the take, step sir, taking the taking decision based on the facts we have. Okay. And this point I have already explained uh, in the expert system supported by the three parts. One is rules, approach, and facts. So without the facts, nothing will be said. Yeah, this is uh, it follows our top down approach. Yeah, this is a good point. Yes. So forward chaining the inference engine goes through all the facts, conditions, and derivations before deducing the outcome. And that is when based on the available data or decision is taken, then the process is called the forward chaining. 
I'm happy to see the this answer this point. The student is telling so this is the top down approach. Top down or bottom up approach? It would be top down or bottom up. Tell me. Sir, top down. Top down. Okay, so uh, let me clear this approach right now. Okay, why it would not be the bottom up? Tell me why it would not be bottom up. Sir, uh, because uh, means first we, uh, we are trying to reach a goal. Uh, yeah, this is, this is a good point. We will try to reach the goal, but uh, uh, from where you and we start, start from initial state. So, yeah, from, we start point. from initial state. So, yeah. so as it is written from the it was from the initial state and reach the goal that is the final destination. So, we have a as an initial level, uh, initial state, then that would be at the bottom side. Then we have to move like this one. We can move like this one. There could be the many paths. So, and this is our goal. So, in this state, uh, we have at the bottom side. And here we have an upside, or we can say top. So this is the reason it representing like this. So initial state will be always in the uh, bottom side. So this approach is basically the properties. I can speak about this one. The, uh, telling more about this one, the, I can speak about its property. This process uh, or the concept of forward chaining will use the bottom to top approach. And it's to start from the initial state and use back to make a decision. And this approach is a data drive. And it is employed in the expert system and production rule system. And it is a data drive, it means it for the data. So it is only for the bottom approach. Reversely, we have the backward. The backward, we will go for the top, uh, we can say the uh, top down. -top. But here, this is followed by the bottom up approach. The power trading is followed by the bottom up approach, not the top down. And I will tell you more detail about the forward chaining. The forward chaining is a method of reasoning. And what is the reasoning? I have already explained. In artificial intelligence, in which inference tools are applied to existing data. That is, please keep in mind the my words. Forward chaining is a method of the reasoning in the artificial intelligence, in which inference rules. Inference rules means the list of the sub rules by which we can get the result, and this is similar to the production rules, are applied to existing data to extract additional data until an end point that is the goal state will can be can achieve and in this type of the chaining the inference engine start by the evaluating the existing facts derivation and conditions before deducing the new information and goal uh, state is achieved through the manipulation of the knowledge and how we can manipulate the knowledge by applying the some inference rules and get data we can get from the knowledge base and that exists in the knowledge base and this is just idea about the forward chaining uh, before that I would like to share the example then the picture will be more clear to all uh, look at this example are you able to see this example right now? The forward chaining example, then the idea of the definition part will be more clear. The forward chaining example. Okay, so look at this example. What was the first step? Just think and tell me because your involvement is more important. Look at this. By its property, we will follow the bottom up approach. So we will select the two nodes which are showing on the bottom side that is A and B. And uh, now tell me which would be the initial state and which would be the goal state. And how we can achieve the our objective. Tell me, tell me. Everything is in front of you. 
and forward chaining is also known as the forward deduction and forward reason okay it is a down up approach or bottom up bottom to up approach we can say and uh, it is a process or making the conclusion based on the known facts or the data so that is the reason it is known as a data driven and by starting from the initial state and reach to the goal state and forward chaining approach is also called as a data driven and we reach to goal using the available data so data is already available in front of the screen you can see so everything is in front of you just you have to choose the appropriate statement to reach the our goal and q is our goal state then how we can move and tell and uh, what is the uh, rules we can apply to reach the goal so there are some uh, proposition logics are available in front of you everything is in front of you so you have to use a brain logic to understand the problem everything is in front of you answer is already in front of you tell me Just tell me right now how we can do. Okay, I can help you something. Uh, just uh, we have to use bottom up approach. Okay, so first we have to use B. Tell me yes or no. Or we can choose a B or A. So because both are available at the same level, so we can choose either A or B. Take and tell me. Okay, uh, for your just remove the curiosity and uh, this property I've already explained. Uh, this is, I was in this example. But there are some facts one, two, three, four. So we can use and or or and we can make the decision based on the facts one and two. And based on the decision one and two, again we can use the and or or. So depending on the requirement, we can make the analysis. This diagram is clear. Or you have any doubt? Let's tell me. This diagram is clear because we are choosing on some facts. So based on the four facts, we are making the decision by applying the and or or. So we are making the decision one and decision two. In decision one, decision two, we can use the or and or or. So we can make the and or decision. It is just like similar to this one. I am going to market and I have to purchase uh, some uh, cold drinks. Okay. Or you can use or. I need to go to the market or I may purchase gold. So these are the some uh, laws that you have to apply. So what are the facts you have in terms of the proposal logic or predictive logic? So this is the point we have to understand the forward chaining. So forward chaining is nothing which is just following the some properties. And what are those properties? I have already spoken. It is followed the bottom up approach or bottom to down. And it is start from the initial state and use fact to make a conclusion. And it means we need to reach the goal state. And it is data driven. Why it is data driven? Because it use the it use the data data from existing. This is the point you have to keep in mind. And it is employed in expert system and production rule system. So where we can use this can be applicable into the expert system and to make the some production rule in better way. These are the properties. Example, I can tell this example, then you can easily understand. Okay. Uh, A is just uh, uh, one point. Okay, so A is a starting point. You can say A is starting point. If I'm talking about the corporate proposition, so I need to follow the bottom up approach. So A is just starting point. 
and a is starting point and a and b represent the fact so these are the some statement which are written over here one two and three so a and b represent a fact and this fact is used to achieve the decision b so what is the facts i am taking i am applying the some facts so this is a fact this fact could be in form of the our logic and uh, i can write over here could be in form of in form of logic and if we talk about the logic so we have the two types of the logic predictive logic or proposition logic now we can get the conclusion so this is the point i can just draw my this point so i'm just making the conclusion based on the facts of what is the logic i'm applying i'm applying the a determinant to be or it tends to be so this is a forward chaining by understanding this point, we have the, this example. So from this example, what we are doing? That is my problem. I can explain this example, then you have to tell me. So as an initial level, we have a two nodes, one are A and B, and our goal node A is Q. So how we can start our step? So A and B we are choosing. So after choosing A and B, then by applying the add, we can get the add. Tell me yes or no, we can get or no. Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm just uh, explaining all the points here with the help of the my way. We can use the L. This statement we can by using the third one. So this is what I'm applying. I'm applying the proposition logic. Proposition logic. And as we know, I'm not applying the predict logic. Please keep in mind, I'm applying the proposition logic. So it may give the true or false. So based on the total logic, I can get it. So if I'm getting the L, so based on the, this uh, proposition logic, I'm getting the L. Or maybe instead of the A and B, and we can get the, uh, we can also apply the predicted logic. So it depends on the logic, what kind of logic we are applying to sort out our problem. And L we are getting. So now we are reaching this point. So L we have. Another option we have A and P. So for, I'm taking the fourth rules I can use. A and P I can take. A and P I can take, then I can get the L or not. Tell me right or no. It is possible or not. A and P I can apply. Can I get the L or not? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, just see. A, I have taken, so I'm just uh, marking in just uh, like this. Way. It means I'm done. And L, I have received, or I have got the L by applying the fourth or third one. So if I'm applying the A and P, then uh, P is here. So can you tell me right now how we can get the A? Yes, it is also possible because we have the add. If you remember the add or or graph, this conjun uh, this uh, conjunction is known as the our end. Am I right or not? This is conjunction or disjunction? Conjunction. Yes. Yeah, so this conjunction is already mentioned over here. So we can apply the end operator to get the p. So of course, by choosing the a and l, we can get the p. Okay. So this is our complete step. Now, next one we are taking fifth, B and L. So, okay, so B we have over here and by L we can get the M, yes, of course. So by applying this conjunction, so we can get the M. So we are getting the M. No issue. L and uh, M we have. So we can also get the P, of course. By applying this conjunction, we can get the P. Yeah, which is also possible. So what are these? These are the some rules. These are some rules to make the decision. All these are given over here. These are the known as the our rules to uh, get the goal state. And okay, this is P. And now P determine to our uh, now we have the Q. So we can also get into this one. So this is our goal state. So we will start our process by the 
initial state and what is the initial state? These are the two initial state from where we have started. So this is the forward chain. I'm just showing you all the steps, step by step, what we have done. First, we have chosen the A and then we have chosen the B. Okay, just look at this one. Please keep in mind, here everything will be clear to us. Okay, now, first A I'm choosing. So look at its uh, uh, values, which are also updating. Now it is clear. Can anyone tell me right now what is the purpose of these values and why it is replaced by the two or two or one two zero? <laughs> Just tell me. Just look at the actual diagram and uh, we had two two one one. We have something like right, this kind of the value. And why these values are finally updated by the zero and this is our final. So can you tell me right now how these two or one values are updated and what are these values? Question, sir. Sir, are they path costs? Okay. Why two comma one values have been changed into change into zero? And what are those values? This is my question. After applying all these rules, we are getting this. So what are these values? Why they have replaced or why they have changed into zero? Okay, for a better man, I can just uh, go to the first one and now here you can see once again and tell me what are these two things? Why these values are updated? Just tell me right. So your involvement is more important. Without knowing or without involvement, you are not able to understand this problem. Forward chaining and backward chaining seems too easy, or it is also easy, but uh, the problem is given, then how you can take it? That is the point. Because nobody noticed this point, so okay, sir, we can move from the bottom to up. Okay, we can accept. We have the, some rules, we can follow the rules and we can uh, trace the path. Okay, so we can trace the path by applying the, some information and for inference rule. Okay, now I'm happy. So we are following the forward chaining. But the question again I have, have you been noticed uh, why these values are replaced by the zero? And what are the purpose of, and what is the sense of this one? This is the point. Can anyone tell me right now why these values are replaced? And what are these values? Is this heuristic functions value or it is a path cost value? I can give you it. If it is heuristic function value, then uh, how we can short out this problem? And if it is not a heuristic function, then what is this? Value? You have already gone through the various topics, so this is the point. This is the point. You have to use a brain or logic to short out the problem. Yes, now tell me. Now you have to speak and tell me the answer.
See, I'm waiting your responses. Please speak over here. You people are required to understand this problem. If I apply the forward chaining, then why these values are replacing by 0, 2, or, uh, 2, or 1 to 0? And what are these? These are the path of heuristic values. Sir, is it the number of nodes uh, that re are required to be combined? If you can. Uh, okay, this is the one point I'm getting. So, number of nodes which are connected at this point. This is the first point. Okay, I'm getting. So, I need the answer from the student because, see, we have already seen the heuristic function and path call. So, if these things two, uh, these two things are not applicable over here, then what are these values? So you have to use a brain to understand this problem, else there will be no sense. Okay, the class is over, nothing will be sent. Because after seeing some time, you will see this is a okay. The two one values are over mentioned over here, but in the final outcomes, they are seeing zero zero. But we have not discussed this point. So this is the point we have to discuss. Why are these points? It is the right answer. These values are replaced because these two values, these are two markable values, which shows that. The conjunction in this conjunction, uh, two nodes are connected. That is the point. So if I'm speaking about the this, uh, if I'm speaking about uh, this point, uh, like uh, this point, uh, two was written. So A was here and B was here. So this conjunction will be managed by the two nodes. So this two is defining that number of the nodes, number of the nodes, and this conjunction defines the number of nodes. That is the point. And nothing else paid. here two two we have and at the last you can see this is a there was a one value if you remember there was a one value so this is just nothing which define the number of nodes connected in form of the conditional disjunctions so here we are using the conjunctions we have this one that is the point so please keep in mind just uh, use a brain to understand the problem so zero means uh, getting on the certain point, uh, getting getting the certain point, let me write correctly. Getting zero means getting the certain point. Okay, and uh, uh, two and one defines. The number of nodes are connected either in form of the conjunction or injunction. So I'm using this symbol for understanding purpose only. This is the point, and it is required. So this is just similar to uh, find you can see observe over here. Uh, I'm taking the BNL. Okay, so how many nodes are connected? The one node and this is the one node. So total we have the two nodes. So at the M we are reaching by using the two nodes. So these are the values. 
and this could be a heuristic function this could be okay because which are this is here it is not clearly mentioned so we can assume this could be heuristic functions of this model this could be heuristic function to reach the goal so that is the point this could be that is the only way so the thing should be clear now it is clear to right, all right now i have already passed a message on the chat box so please keep in mind all the points my instructions are very clear to all the people so don't be mute and don't show your laziness okay so speak here so if you're speaking it means you're listening that is a very very important one so now this idea is clear the forward chaining it means you are moving from the bottom bottom to up or we can say the bottom to top by applying the some information tools and we can reach our path so our initial state was the a and b and we are reaching on the cube that was our goal state so from this diagram we have seen here we have used a proposition logic basic principle this is the point let me write now from your side this diagram is clear or the idea is clear what is the forward chaining you can go through the properties once again these are the properties now it is clear the properties are from the properties of chaining the example is clear yes tell me yes sir okay so if i need to share something over here uh, just look at this example i'm taking the one more example for the predicate logic storm is running i'm taking the simple example uh, from the internet as well so i'm not changing anything over here storm is running this is our first row storm is running it means we have a a next we are applying the other rule that is if person is running this person could be anyone okay so this person could be anyone so i can replace this person like a tom tom is running and he will sweat so this is the point so this is the over what this is the what another rule so tom is running i am just taking the one variable and i am taking the another rule that is the if person is running and then he will sweat so this is the our rule now next variable we have this one so tom is sweating so tom is a person tom is a person so you can sweat so b is what this a belong to the tom and either tom or either could be a person and b is given to the our variable that is the sweat so if i'm writing like this one a determinant to b or b tends to b so we can say a person is running then he will sweat and this is the proposition logic uh this information is written into the proposition logic by applying the proposition logic uh, symbol because proposition logic and which symbol i am using this symbol the arrow symbol we can say the arrow symbol is telling to us if person is running then he will sweat then he will sweat so with help of this symbol we can represent the our information by the if the then okay so this is the point you have to keep in mind and from the proposition logic we have to use i am not teaching the proposition logic because it is not for the curriculum but we have already seen all these things in the mathematical so inspired from the mathematical i am writing all those things so our practical example will go like this way so this could be another example in the forward chain we can take same example we can transform into the our backward chain so this point should be clear so here uh, we can represent this could be like this one a and we are moving a to b and here i am applying the rule to reach the my goal state that is the a determinant to b or it tends to b and that is the proposition logic we have After understanding this one, we have a backward chain. Okay, I have some more example I have taken. So patient has a temperature of the 102 degree, and patient has been sick for the two months. So patient has a sore throat. So this is the observation effect. So patient come into the doctor and uh, comes to the doctor office and complain about the certain ailment. So this part we have already discussed, but I am taking one more example over here in the my image one. the doctor must infer what is wrong with the patient and this is also seems to work with the expo system expo system will take the inputs from the uh, user in form of the observation okay i can write here for you or a better man so an expert system 
an expert system will take inputs uh, from user uh, in form of observation that is the most important terms you have to keep in mind to learn about the expert system or to build that system observation these are the points so here what are the observation we have the patient has a temperature by zero degree patient has uh, been sick for the two months and patient has a sore throat so what could be the points so what could be the route from which we can easily identify the patient really uh, suffering from the fever or not maybe a patient has a different kind of disease so disease we can identify so we can apply the some rules these rules are known as the inference rules these rules are known as the inference rule these rules are known as the inference rule and what are the rules if patient has a sore throat and we suspect there are bacterial infection and then we believe the patient has a strep throat and this is the name of the disease and similarly we can represent like this one if a uh, person is uh, suffering from the same as they were just cold and cough and he is also having a throat infection and uh, after taking the medicine he is not uh, getting well so he may be suffering from the different kind of disease so this could be the one and the patient has a temperature is greater than the 100 then patient has a fever so this is the second rule by which we can easily identify maybe patient may not have the throat infection but patient just having the more than the 100 uh, degree so definitely patient suffering from the fever rule three we can apply to know the patient disease so patient has been sick for the over a month and patient has a fever then we suspect at the bacterial infection it means patient is not taking the medicine properly and the patient is suffering from the bacterial infection so if you remember the expert system so i can write over here the in expert system what are the points we have a knowledge base and writing short and base then we have a inference uh, engine so i am writing i e short and base and then we have a user interface it shall use so user will interact with the user interface but inference engine will be apply here so will help us some rules we can get the data from the knowledge base and knowledge base will pass the data to this one so here what i am doing i am just putting the some queries and this queries is coming from the in terms of the rules and these rules are generating from the based on the observation and this result is coming in form of the outcomes or outcomes we can say if these outcomes are coming so i can interact with the user okay so these are the symptoms and based on the symptom for observation you are suffering from the xyz xyz disease okay so this is the problem we can write over here so this is the working of the forward chaining and this will be more applicable in the uh, example and what is the example i already explained if you remember the my words where i explained in the few couple of the minutes of the while starting the class i told you a uh, mycin dental okay so mycin uh, what is the purpose of mycin and where we can use the mycin mycin uh, uh, will use the uh, forward and backward so can you tell me right now which one is used by the mycin forward or backward i already told you mycin will use forward or backward mycin use the backward chaining to diagnose the bacterial infection while dendrin implies a, a forward chaining to establish the structure of the chemical that is the point okay so these are the basic point you have to keep in mind so in the forward chaining we can take the any other example so uh, here dental is the best example so i can write over here for difference purpose as uh, we will need to think more so dental is an example of the forward chain and mycin will use the backward chain now this is a different kind of example i have taken about the forward chain it is clear to all right now here is the
Okay, I need the input from the other students. So please speak. Uh, we have taken this example, we have taken this example, and we have taken this example as well. So your involvement is more important. So it will be appreciated to us. Yes, sir, understood, sir, but sir, I didn't understand, sir, why uh, we use zeros in this example, but not in the other two examples, sir. Like if we form this chaining, so will we use zeros uh, in the other two examples too? Yeah, see, these are different kinds of examples. See, the representation example, we have, we have the different kinds of examples we can use. See, this example, just simple, simple example, which defines that if A is our initial state and B is a gold state, so what kind of rule we can see? This example I can explain once again. This is our initial state. Okay, if A is the initial state and B is a goal state, is a goal state, then what is the rule you are applying to reach the goal? So I'm using the rule that is the A determinant to B. So this is telling to us if A is true, then A will be true. Okay, this is the point only. So this is only meaning, and this is representing in form of the proposition logic. So this is a representation of the forward chain example. And this example we have seen over here in form of the, this diagram. This diagram, we have used uh, some values. It is optional if you want to use it, it's optional. But what we have used here, I'm using the, and we are using the uh, conjunction. So with the help of the conjunction, we can easily identify if we are making the chain by applying the conjunction between the two nodes, then how many nodes are connected? Two nodes connected. So this is reason two are written. This this would be similar to about as a heuristic values because heuristic values are defining the proper path where you can move. So from you can pass the shortest path. But here we are not determining the shortest path. Here we are applying the various rule to get the word forward chain only. So it is your uh, point where you can apply. So this is another example which is representing the forward chaining. So there are many examples by which you can take. We can represent the problem. So here I'm taking. Next, here just look at this example. In this example, in this example, what I'm doing, I'm doing the same thing. But here I'm taking the English statement. So first statement I'm writing in the form of the A. Okay. Second statement I'm taking as a B. So if I'm moving A to B, it means I'm I'm being a Tom. I'm trying to run. Then I will be sweat. So what is the reason I will be sweat? Because I'm running. So this is my condition. This condition or this is my rule. This is my condition rule. If you remember the my words, as I told you, this is my rule or this would be my condition. This will be my condition. So based on the condition, I can move from A to B and A is my goal state, initial state and B is my goal state. So why and what is the reason I'm moving? Because I'm running. So this is a condition. So this is the same example as we have seen the previous first one example. So if this is third one example, intermediate example is telling to us you can use the heuristic value. If you don't want, if you want to use any values that we can move like just few. So here it's very similar. Uh, uh, how many uh, paths we have? So total path and total nodes we have only the uh, A to B. So no need to we have the one. So after reaching A to B, so this value will be updated by one to zero it means there is no more movement is applicable this is telling to us there is no movement is possible because we have already traced this path there is no movement is possible there is no movement possible uh, let me write correctly There's no movement possible more because it is already tracked. Okay, already, this one is already tracked. We have already covered. So this is a reason. But if you're writing on this value in terms of the heuristic functions like this, heuristic values, it's optional. This only way. So that was we have already uh, inserted over here. So this is our example. 
Now clear? Uh, do you have yes, any sir. doubt? No, just uh, uh, let me remove your curiosity. Just uh, uh, before, yes. Yes, we have the backward chaining. Here we are not using the, any kind of the values. It's optional. Look at the same image I'm taking, same image. I'm not uh, uh, doing any amendment into the my images, but in this images, there is no values we are mentioned over here, but we are moving from the top to top. That is the reverse approach of the forward training we have. So here no values are mentioned over here. So it is optional. You are the person who can manage the problem. You are building the model by heuristic function or heuristic function. It is your choice. So if you're applying the uh, any search mechanism, which is supported by the heuristic function, then you have to use the heuristics value as it can be. So that is it. the purpose of the agent of heuristic values to find the shortest path in the minimum cost. This is the reason only. But here, no need to follow this one. We can apply the many paths and we can choose the appropriate path to get our solution. That is only it. And that is the decision of the expert system. So how we are building out the expert system, it's your choice. So this expert system can use the forward chaining or backward chaining. And depend on the application, depend on the need we can have. So I told you the myosin and dental. So myosin support the backward uh, chaining and dental support the forward chaining. So this is the point. But let us understand this example. What is the flow of the our example? That is that is the reason. Now it is clear to all right now. Right now uh, this example I. And this is the fourth example I have taken general way. So this is the only way. So what could be the rule? So someone asked me the question, sir. Uh, we can identify the rules if I need to write some rule in the examination. So how can I? So this is a demonstration I'm giving you. So if you need to write the rules, so you can write the rules from the observation. If the patient has a sore throat and we suspect the bacterial inflammation infection, then we can believe that the person has suffering from the strep throat. That is the reason. So we, we can write the rules. We can define the rules. That is the way. And I will give you some uh, science main question to or uh, in the tutorial. I can give you this kind of question for a practice purpose. You need to write uh, some rules. You can define the own rules. And the AI is saying that to us, the person can define the rule based on the problem. And we will try to write a better rules to get a better solution or a good decision. So rules writing is a different approach. And that is known as the uh, term we have to study into the artificial intelligence course. That is known as the rule based reasoning system. Rule based reading system itself is an entire chapter in the AI. And from here, we will understand how to write the rules and from the facts, how we can define the various rules. And that is known as the rule based study, rule based uh, system. And that is a part of the AI as well. But uh, unfortunately, uh, we don't have this concept in the, or this topics in the universal level, so we will not touch. But that is a part of that. This is the reason. Now it is clear to all right now the forward chaining and this point right now. The basic idea of the forward chaining is clear with that of some example. And the properties must be clear to all. That is the reason I'm using the my all the way into writing way. So I'm writing all the things. Yes. Now I need the input from the students. If you have any problems, so you can discuss. Just tell me right now. Else I can move to the backward chaining. Now it is clear to all right now. The backward chaining, forward chaining is clear. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, it's just reverse of the forward chaining. We have a backward chaining. So theoretically, I can skip. So you can read out on the notes. Okay. So dental express system, which is uh, uh, okay. So this is the point. Uh, I was using the okay dental uh, express system and uh, how the it more useful to the forward chaining so this theory i can skip over here you can read out from the notes okay but uh, i would like to explain the uh, it's uh, backward chaining so unnecessary theory no need to discuss over it i would like to explain by the the backward chaining backward chaining is concept artificial that involves the backtracking okay from the end points so or goal to step the lead to the end points so this is the point this example so here uh, you can uh, read or you can see observe over here as well. In the forward chaining, what we have done, uh, uh, we have an initial state and we have moved like this one. We can move like this one, like this one. I'm just drawing the random uh, random drawing. Okay, so maybe this may be connected. 
So this is just nothing. The goal state you can and initial state. In the forward uh, forward chaining, what we have done, we have moved from the initial to goal inform of the inform from inform from the top to, uh, bottom to up. But here, what we have, we have to use the top down approach. Here, we have to use the top down approach. So this reason from the descent for we uh, what we have done we will provide the what is into the parts and then we will get the text and i would like to explain the example uh, okay this example as well so if you remember the uh, example a and b so what we are doing b we had here and a we have seen here in the forward we have moved from A to B. Okay, so this is the example of the forward chaining. And I can write this example in form of the backward chaining. So how I can write in the backward chaining? Our goal state and uh, our uh, initial state will not be changed. It will be as it is, but this will be like this way and what are the rule i'm applying the rule will not also be changed that is the a to b and this is known as the backward chaining and it is just known as a reverse forward chaining a reverse forward chaining as well okay so the information provided in the previous example we have seen through the forward chaining and that can be used to provide a simple explanation of the backward chaining just by reversing the approach top to now bottom to edge so here what we have uh, bottom up approach and here we have top down approach these are the two points we have to keep in mind and these two points differentiate these the difference between the backward and forward chain so uh, if i look at this example as we know what is the initial state and what is the goal state so q is our goal state okay so if q is our goal state and as we know, and we have seen, and these are the two initial states from where we have started our objectives to reach the goal state. And by applying the or by seeing the some conjunctions between the two nodes, so we will move from from Q to P. So what I'm applying, if I'm moving Q to P, what I'm doing, I'm applying the backtracking. I'm applying the backtracking. So backward chaining, as the name suggests, to move from the goal to initial by applying the backtracking. Okay. So as the name suggests, backward chaining. So we have to apply the backtracking to reach the initial state to why it is required. That is the point. So from this point, I have a very simple question. Can you even tell me right now what is required? Backward chaining is required. What is required? What was the problem in the forward chaining? So why does it require the backward chaining? Just tell me. I, just, I need a simple answer from your side. Just tell me why backward chaining is required. See, uh, uh, top down approach. So, backward joining um, the goal is broken into the sub goal, and sub goals are true proof that is true or not. That's the this reason it is called the goal driver approach, not a data driver. Okay, so I can write over here uh, this is the goal driven approach, it supports the goal driven approach while forward chaining. supports data driver data driver is it true have you seen and we have discussed the first point we have to keep in mind so backtracking is required to short out the problem and to get the word goal are we getting the desired goal so backtracking is required to see the desired goal 
after applying to some influence goals we are not getting a desired result but we are getting to some goal so our goal will be divided into the two parts which is known as the sub goals okay so this is in our desired goal uh, we can decide into the sub goal and then backtracking required to reach a certain moment uh, i can take this example over here then the more idea will be clear to you I'm solving a problem A to B. I can choose a different path. So maybe I can go here and then I can go here. So I'm reaching the C, I'm reaching the D point, and then I'm reaching the B. And then I'm using the E, and then I'm using the F, and then I'm using the B. So what I did, I just use the different approaches to raise the forward, raise the forward journey. Okay, I reach at the certain points uh, by using the, this approach. This one, forward journey. I use the forward journey. Now I am just changing something over here. What I am doing? The question we have: Are we getting the Goal or not? So if it, this is a goal, so the question we have: uh, Are we getting desired goal as we have decided? Desired goal. To sort out this problem, we will apply the backtracking. Then we will apply the backtracking. Then backward chaining introduce. Backward chaining. Will introduce over here. So what I will do, I will apply the backtracking from A to B to F, and then this one, and then this one again apply, and this one again apply, and this one will be applied. Backward chaining is required to check the expected uh, goal. Okay. At each node, uh, really the nodes or the points which are generating the uh, desired goal or node. So this reason backward tracking, back uh, back tracking is required, and back chaining, backward chaining is more applicable over here. So from this point, what I am pulling, if you remember the my words, top to down. So this is the reason I am pulling the top to down approach. And the Mycin is a good network system which supports the Mycin. Is a expert system. Uh, is an expert system uh, which supports which supports backward chaining. Which supports backward chaining. So I have taken different example to explain the idea. Of what is the meaning of the backward chaining? So the, this this part is clear to all right now. What is mean by the backward chaining and what is required? Uh, it is clear to all right now. Yes, tell me. Okay. So I'm just showing the other images. What we have seen. Just look at this image. So the desired goal we are expecting, we are getting to fulfill uh, by applying the backtracking, and then. We are moving from this point. So just uh, Q to P and P to L and uh, M, which are connected to the P. So just applying the backtracking and just get the desired result. So after getting the, all the desired result, we are following the our fulfillment. Now we can take the previous example. Now I'm taking the same example. Uh, if you remember the words, same example, A and uh, B. In the forward, what we have done A to B by applying the A determinant to B. So we can replace this point like this one by using the same rule. We can use. So the question we have: the person is running and he will swear. So the, this point. If I read this example by the uh, backward chaining, by backward chaining, if I read this example by the backward chaining. How I can read? I can read. Tom is sweating. Tom is sweating, and then Tom is running. 
so tommy is sweating this is reason tommy is sweating so if the person is running then he will sweat this is a rule will not be changed rule will be common to all kind of the chaining but the point we have the words are changed only okay tommy is sweating and tommy is running so here we are applying the back chain so what i am doing i am applying the back tracking so i told you the mycin is a good example of mycin is expert system that is a real life example that defies the how backward chaining works and this system that is used to uh, in diagnosis the bacterial infections in the body in the medical science we can do and it also recommends a suitable treatment for the person for this type of the infection and this is the i'm speaking once again this is the again the most popular uh expert system in medical science field medical science field please keep in mind this is the most important so at the time of the interview we can speak to anyone so here just note down here we have the this one so b and then a so what is the path we are taking we are moving from the top to down this is the point same example we have but we have to change its uh, uh, position for understanding purpose only by applying the vector tracking only so this is the details of the mycins i have given over here so you can yes tell me right now so this was the introductory part about the uh, forward chaining and backward chaining so we have seen now you have any uh, doubts so far what we have seen in the backward chaining and forward chaining <laughs> 